Hey everyone, it's Killer King Kevin, and in this video, I'm gonna go through all the awakening challenges in Fortnite, starting from Thor and moving my way up to Tony Stark. There's seven awakening challenges in total, one for each skin, and each skin has three challenges in total. Now, you can only complete these challenges when you unlock the skin and reach the specific battle pass tier, so make sure you're leveling up first. This video will include all the challenges that you need to complete for each skin and how to unlock their special abilities. So before I move on, if you like funny, fearless and serious style videos, I post new videos 3-4 to four times a week, with the latest one being on Laserbeam and Fresh. So subscribe to my second channel for all that awesome content. So the first challenge that you need to complete is to visit the Bifrost Marks as Thor. And it's near, I guess, uh, that small authority like base just on the hill. And there is a cabin right there. So between authority and Weeping Woods, you'll see six different Bifrost Marks. All you have to do is land there and that's challenge one complete. The second challenge that you need to complete is to deal 100 damage with Thor's hammer. Now this challenge is harder than I guess all the challenges and you can damage real people but on top of that you can actually damage henchmen or even the Stark bots to complete this challenge. So all I did was land at a Quinjet and then I just I guess hit everyone with the Thor's hammer and that's easy 100 damage done. Now on a side note, if you don't have Thor's hammer yet, all you have to do is go under Salty Springs at the crater and pick up Thor's hammer. Now you do need to reach a certain level on the battle pass to actually get this hammer. So once you get that level, you can pick up the Thor's hammer at the crater. Finally, you have the easiest challenge, which is to emote on top of this mountain with the rune. So all you gotta do is go here, and once you emote, you'll only be able to use Thor's emote, and that will actually transform you into almighty Thor. And you can actually use it in any single game that you want, so jump into a new game and emote, and you will turn into almighty Thor. And you can even do it again and again to change back and forth between whichever Thor you like. So that is how to complete Thor's Awakening Challenges. The first challenge is quite easy and all you have to do is visit Jennifer Walters office at Retail Row. So if you're coming down from this side, this is Jennifer Walters office and at the front it will even state it. So it says Jennifer Walters Law Offices and you don't even need to go inside. I mean I've just completed the challenges uh, by just landing outside. So this is her office, there's quite a bit of loot but all you gotta do is land at it and that's challenge one complete. The next challenge you wanna complete is to eliminate three of Doom's henchmen, and I guess the easiest way to do it is to land at like the bunker, but at the same time, it is quite hard cause like Dr. Doom is there, people are there, like this guy. Okay, he's dead. Now I'm pretty sure there's two at the vault place. And there should be others at the like the houses, so these two should be easy kills. That's one. And that is two. Okay, there should be one henchman in here. Hopefully no one's killed him. Where you at? Where you at? Where, oh, there he is. And that is three. Yep, challenge complete. So those are the three ways. You can go for other like houses and locations. They're literally spawn everywhere. Um, like some are outside as well. But that was I guess the easiest way to get three in one game. The final challenge that you need to complete is to come over to this place. It's at the bottom of the map. And all you have to do is break this vase to get She-Hulk. So once you break this, you should be able to emote. And you'll only be able to use the Gamma Overload emote. And that transforms you into She-Hulk. So there we have it. She-Hulk awakened and this is it. Now you can just do it again and again and you'll transform uh, back and forth to She-Hulk and Jennifer Walters. So that's how you complete Jennifer Walters awakening challenges and get She-Hulk. Now Groot only has two challenges and to complete the first one, you have to come to this heart-shaped island. It's on the very, I guess, western side of the map, so all the way to the left. And once you're there, just go to this heart-shaped island and you just have to plant a seed. Pretty easy, you just gotta make sure, you know, no one else is there or someone kills you. But come over here, plant seed. 
and that is challenge one complete. The second challenge that you have to complete is to emote as Groot at this friendship monument. So it's at the most like western side of the map once again. So if you complete the first challenge, it's at the heart shaped and the second one, uh, you do have to join a new match, but it is very close to the like first challenge. And all you have to do is emote. I guess it shows Groot's and uh, Rocket's friendship. So battle brother, join Rocket with the built in emote. And there you go, you have Rocket. Uh, I'm pretty sure he stays with you like the whole game as soon as you do the emote and you can do this emote with any skin that you want It doesn't have to be just Groot. So this isn't like uh, locked to Groot You can do it with any skin and I feel like that is actually really really cool uh, That you can you're like able to use all the skins that you want and Rocket is always like by your side Now he kind of does like maybe block your view sometimes it may be distracting but who cares about that? It's the part where he's actually in the game. Oh, he doesn't actually block your ADS, but that's actually really, really cool. So that's how you complete Groot's Awakening Challenges and get the Battle Brother emote. All right, so the first challenge for Storm is that you have to go to the weather station on top of this hill right here. So all you have to do is land here and that's pretty much it. It is on the bottom southeast side of the map and all you gotta do is just land there and you have completed challenge one and there's a llama here as well but that will probably not be in your game the next challenge is quite simple but annoying at the same time because all you have to do is write the steamy stacks at steamy stacks but the only problem is that you have to do it when the like when you're in the storm so depending on your circle or what match you're in uh, you know it could be one game or it could be 10 games if you're unlucky but all you have to do is wait for the storm to come in and then just ride the steamy stacks make sure you're actually riding the the steamy stack if you don't ride it then this challenge won't be completed you can't just go in the storm you have to actually do those two things um, when they're connected so maybe just afk somewhere uh, spawn somewhere where no one will kill you i think uh personally you could just land at the top just making sure that no one is here or no one's trying to kill you but this should be the safest place to be and just wait until the storm comes in okay so the storm's finally coming in waited here there was one person that flew past but didn't see me so i'm in the storm jump in and challenge is completed Now the final challenge for Storm is that you have to go to the middle of the circle and then emote as Storm. Now I would suggest going into Team Rumble because I guess it's the easiest one and the circle shows up really really quick so you'll know where the middle is exactly. So I mean I think this is the middle so I'm just going to try it out here and let's see whether it works or not. Okay so it actually just shows you where the middle is. Go here and emote. Gale Force, unleash your inner storm goddess with Storm's built-in emote. And there it is, Queen Goddess Cloud Walker. And we have Awakened Storm, and now you get her special back bling that she also uses while she's like gliding down in the Storm Glider, and this is actually super super cool. So that's how you complete Storm's Awakening challenges and unlock the Gale Force emote. Alright, so the first challenge for Doctor Doom is quite easy. All you gotta do is go to Doom's domain and visit Doctor Doom's statue. And that should just complete it. So, Doctor Doom landed. You do have to land, you can't just fly past it. And that is challenge one complete. For the next challenge, you have to visit a giant throne. Now, this giant throne is to the right side of Retail Row. So, right over here. And all you gotta do is land there and that completes challenge two. So if you can't see the throne, like I guess that's the, the back of the throne, that's like the armrests and this is the actual seat. So this is the giant throne that you need to visit. So the final challenge to unlock Dr. Doom's emote is to use his emote during a victory royale. And that is, I guess, one of the hardest challenges. We've never actually had a challenge where you have to get a victory royale. Now this can be in solo, duo, squads, any game mode. I am in Team Rumble because it is the easiest way to get a win. And I finally won the game, oh my god. 
Okay, that is so cool. Dr. Doom's Victory Royale emote. Okay, for some reason, I think you have to get a win to use this emote. Hopefully, it's not like that. I'm going to jump into creative and see if that's the case. Oh my god, you can't use it. You can only use it during a victory royale. Okay, that kind of sucks. And the reason why is because, firstly, you can only use this emote if you're using Dr. Doom as a skin. And secondly, you're, you're like rarely going to get a win. So the chances of you using this skin and getting a win and using that emote is like quite low. So I feel like this emote, you won't actually see it that much. And for that reason, I think... Like, the emote is amazing, like, it's super, super cool, but I don't know why they've made it Victory Royale exclusive. But anyway, that's how you complete Doctor Doom's Awakening Challenges and earn the Victory Von Doom emote. So the first challenge for Mystique is to use a phone booth, and right now, I think it's only at uh, Doom's Domain, so you have to come to Doom's Domain and then use the phone booth right in front of Doom's statue. Just use it up, and that is it. Use the phone booth, and that is challenge one complete. The second challenge for Mystique is quite hard, and you have to deal damage with different rarity pistols. Now, the easiest way to do it, like, it, this makes it super easy. All you have to do is land at the authority and kill this henchman. This henchman has 100% grey pistol drop rate. So, just do that. Go outside the authority and damage a shark. No matter what kind of damage you do, it will count. So do that, come back to the authority, upgrade the pistol at the very bottom at the authority uh, to a green one, uh, damage the shark again, and then do that once again, upgrade your gun to a blue pistol, and then deal damage to the shark, and that is your challenge complete in one game. And we have just completed the challenge. The final challenge for Mystique is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is emote after you get a kill. Oh my god, okay. Whoa! This guy actually almost just killed me. Now, you don't have to instantly do it, but there is like a mini timer. So let me go up here. So, Shape Shifter, become the enemy with Mystique's built-in impersonation emote. And there you have it. I've turned into Thor because Thor was the last person I killed. Wow, okay, that went away really quick. I expected it to be in the game for much longer. I swear it's meant to be in there for longer, but that was that was just super, super quick. Okay, there's someone over there. Okay, so I've killed another person. Shapeshift. Ooh, even the back bling changes. That is actually so cool. The pickaxe doesn't change, but the back bling does. Okay, they stay for a very short amount of time. It's like two seconds. So you barely even... I mean, it should have... I, I think it should have been on for a bit longer, like five to ten seconds. It would make it worth using the actual emote, but it's only there for like two, literally two seconds. But that is the Mystique emote. So the first challenge for Tony Stark's Awakening challenges, you have to get in a whiplash and get a speed of 88. So 88 miles or 88 kilometers. I'm pretty sure it's miles. Um, but I think going to Lazy Lake would be the best bet because Lazy Lake has a lot of cars and a lot of them are whiplashes. So I'm in a whiplash right now. Just got to get 88. I'm on 71 and I'm on 90 now, and that is challenge one complete. It's pretty easy, just come out on the roads. You have to be on the roads, or else the whiplash won't go fast enough, because if you go off-road, the speed will just start dropping, especially when you go uphill. So stay on the road, also use the boost, because that will definitely get you above 88. The next challenge is to use an upgrade bench using Tony Stark. So the best way to do this is to just come over to this guy, kill him and pick up a grey pistol but I have just found a grey gun so I don't need to kill this guy but if you can't find a grey uh, like a grey weapon just kill the dude like the henchman and he'll like 100% spawn a grey pistol. Now all you gotta do is farm some mats and go at the very bottom to upgrade the gun. Alright we're down here upgrade weapon 
and that is challenge 2 complete. So the final challenge for Tony Stark's Awakening Challenges is to come to this warehouse which is the Stark Warehouse and just emote. So it is near the Authority and there's someone right there. Let me just use the emote. And so you have the suit up emote, suit up as Iron Man with Tony Stark's built-in emote. And that, there it is, you are now Iron Man. So that's all the Awakening Challenges for every single skin in the Battle Pass. Wolverine will come out later on, I think in week 7, like they do with every single secret skin. But I hope this video does help, hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on this video.